Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Inside Elite Fitness. I'm Sean Woodland with Tommy Marquez. Of course, a big week in the CrossFit game season as the Open gets kicked off on Thursday, and we have another sanctioned event taking place this weekend. That is Strength and Depth. It is over in the United Kingdom. It is a two-day event, seven total events for the elite individuals. All of those workouts are known. There is a live stream. It is strengthindepth.com, and they're going to kick things off with 19.1, but this is a competition that came together very quickly, and the crew over there has done a nice job of getting things organized in a really good fashion. No doubt, Sean. And the 19.1 inclusion as a workout for them to start is just one piece of a massive effort that's been put forth by the Strength and Depth team to, just to get to this point. So if you look back to November, that's when Strength and Depth's original event actually happened, which included a seven-person team competition. Then the opportunity to become a sanctioned event popped up. They didn't wait. They jumped at the opportunity, even though that meant a quick turnaround mm -hmm. in uh, February with a date that potentially clashed with the CrossFit Games Open. They've been able to pull it off so far. They're going to have a live stream, and they're including an open workout. That's a pretty awesome job well done by them. We're going to take a look at the women's side of the field today. We already focused on the men's side. That's on another show that you can find on our YouTube channel, Inside Elite Fitness. But on the women's side, the main names here that we're showing you, five of these women have competed at the CrossFit Games in some capacity. Danny Spiegel is the only one who isn't, but she has done very well at regionals in the past. We've seen Sarah Sigmund's daughter compete twice already in sanctioned events, third in both of them. but probably looks to be the favorite here. Yeah, and I'm really looking to see Sarah kind of take a step up in becoming the favorite here as well. You look at what she did in Dubai and Wadapalooza, both third place finishers. In each one of those instances, she kind of mentioned she was just getting her feet wet in terms of getting back into the swing of things after missing the back half of the games last year due to injury. If it weren't for a mishap with the buoy in Dubai during the swim, she could have very well won that event. And she typically has one, one or two kind of bonk events for Sarah. So if she can get past this um, for this particular event with just two days of competition, she could walk away with an invite when everything shakes out. This is also now the third look we're getting at Danny Spiegel. I know she is someone that has impressed you so far. And when you look at the workouts here, there are a couple that she could knock out of the park. And so don't be surprised if she is not only pushing Sarah, but maybe winning this whole thing. The hype train is at full speed <laughs> right now, Sean, and for good reason. Danny Spiegel has competed in two sanctioned events thus far, two top five finishes with some very impressive performances, but looking specifically at some of the workouts that is in front of her this weekend, the Max Snatch event, she was pretty much the favorite to win that, yeah. given the fact that she was repping out 175 power snatches Oof. at Wadapalooza. She's a former gymnast, so the event with the 10 rounds of bar muscle-ups and handstand walking and the dumbbell snatches, those are things that are right up her wheelhouse. So those are potentially two event wins that we could see her walk away with before we get into the final day. That would set her up nicely to push one of these top girls. And remember, you can watch all the action, strengthindepth.com. They do have a live stream. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Inside Elite Fitness subscribe to our podcast. We're going to break all this down in a lot more depth as it comes to that sanctioned event. That is Talking Elite Fitness. You can subscribe to that on Apple Podcasts and wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. We're on Google Play as well. And of course, all that's left now for us to focus on is the start of the 2019 Reebok CrossFit Games Open. That will be our next show when we focus on 19.1 and the kickoff of those five very fun weeks. That's it for us for today. For Tommy Marquez, I'm Sean Woodland. We'll see you soon.